All right, it's Luis Sandoval, FightHype.com. Me with Ricky Funes. Ricky, wow. you guys still working? You guys put in the work? How's, it, how's training camp going? Training camp is going great. I mean, we call it training camp, but we don't have a, a venue yet or exact date. Yeah. Um, and uh, they keep telling us a certain date, but I spoke to our lawyer last night, and uh, he says hopefully today we might have an answer. So we'll see. Uh, you know, but we're still grinding. Brandon's still grinding hard. Uh, he's looking good. Um, you know, sometimes a fighter gets discouraged because they don't know when they're gonna fight. Yeah. And uh, I, you know, you, you gotta motivate your fighter as well. Keep him, keep him uh, in good spirits. So Brandon, right now, he's, you know, he comes one of those days like, I don't have a date. But he's been in the gym since last April. That's true. He has stuff. So I mean, I'll, I'll give him some days off. You know. Uh, we were supposed to fight in July last year just to get an opponent, just to get him back in the groove. But the situation with this contract with uh, Top Rank, that's true. You know, but all that's done and uh, done. So we got back on grinding since uh, last uh, July, August. I was gone for a bit. I, he I, he took like three weeks off. You know, back on the gym, and uh, I'm happy that he's been committed to be in the gym every day. And you know, I try to motivate him, let him know that. Uh, you're a professional fighter, this is your job. No matter what, you gotta get your ass here to the gym and at least shake off, move around, shadow box, yeah. that's your job. You gotta be ready. That's good advice. Yeah, cause you don't know when you're gonna get that call. Hey, be ready to fight in five weeks. So, we, we've been training, so, you know, just to sharpen up, that'll be great. You know, there was a, the, their camp, Victor Ortiz camp got upset cause they heard that you guys have said that they didn't want to fight anymore, and they said, no, that's not true, we still want to fight. Did, did you hear anything really? Well, I, just I, I, well, I, well, I heard somebody say that, so that was a rumor. Uh, and, you know, not, nothing does disrespect to Haas or Victor, but then they do whatever they want to do. I mean, we are, we're doing our thing. That was just a rumor that we heard that he needed, that he, Victor needed more time. So we just spoke on what we heard, and it's not, it didn't come from us. So, you know, I respect Coach Haas, because Coach Haas is cool people. I like Haas. So, is, is has anything changed in, in Brandon's mindset, Ricky, with this fight? Or Brandon's is more pissed, more angry at uh, kicking Victor's ass. That's, that's, you know, this prolonging this fight. Victor, uh, Brandon's just fucking angry. And he comes here mad and I fucking, sometimes he feel, I feel like he's going to hit me. Like earlier, you saw that with a cushion. I go, fuck, he's going to catch me all over my hand. Is that he's so sharp, you know, he, he's angry. He wants to get that frustration out on, on Victor. And it's a good thing. Yeah. And it's a, it could be a bad thing. But like he has self-control. You know, Brandon's a veteran. Yeah. Brandon, Victor is a veteran. Brandon's a veteran. Brandon's ready to go. Um, he just pumped up. He just wants this fight date already to go. And so we could just sharpen up our our, 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 our sharpness. Uh, like the, with Brandon's, Brandon's been good. He's been looking good in sparring. I haven't, I haven't had really tough sparring for him because I don't want that. I want him to go into that fight fresh. Yeah. I want him to go and have fun that night. And uh, let's see how it works out that night. Any worry about the layoff? Ricky, I know you guys been in the you gym, know what? but it's different when you're not in the, you know. I, I, I gave a call to Robert and we talked, and uh, and he knows Brandon more than I, mm -hmm. than I do. So I still, as a, up in, as a coach myself, that I want to learn from different coaches. What better coach to call? Yep. Robert Garcia. You know, Robert Garcia knows Brandon like the back of his hand. He's been training him since he was 17 years old. So I, I call Bra uh, Robert and I go, hey, Robert, you know, I'll just keep it short. You know, I, I'm not going to get into details, but he goes, I just asked him, how does Brandon sometimes, you know, there's fighters that look amazing in, in sparring. But when, they, when it comes to fight night, some of these fighters look like shit. Yeah. And there's fighters that look like shit in sparring, but when it comes to fight night, they look like fuck, world-class yeah. fighters. That's true. And Robert just came in, he goes, Rick, as long as you have Brandon in shape, he goes, he's a game player. He's he's on top of the world. Just He goes, just look at Acosta, look at uh, Alvarado. Um, and he goes, and Peterson. So he goes, look at those fighters. He goes, he was in top shape, he was in shape, and he was focused. And it's funny that you just said that because we were having a talk with uh, Joe Goosen right now about that. You know, Joe has a lot of experience. Yeah. That's, that's been my mentor since I was 12. Wow. And I, I put him to the side and I asked him for advice on what should I be doing right now on certain things. He goes, well, do this, do that, do this, do that. And we're just talking about when it comes to fight night, you know, the fighter that has not been in shape and he opens up the curtain and ready to go outside, 
And he's thinking in his mind, fuck, did I run? Did I cheat? I did this, I smoked. You know, you, you start doubting yourself on, on how you're gonna be in that fight. But once you open up the curtain and you're in shape, and you go, fuck, I jogged, yep. I ran, I listened to my coach, I did this, I did that. Man, you, you, you both are set to go. You, nothing can stop you. No matter what, how in shape the other opponent is. Yep. Don't matter, you're in shape, your mind is already fucking him, already saying, hey, I'm gonna kick guys' ass, that's it. And that's the way we're at right now with Brandon. Brandon has been doing his running, he's been doing his training here, he's been doing everything, he's been listening to me. Sometimes, you know, Brandon, he gets a little bit stubborn. Yeah. I let him have his fun, but you know when to work. And, and, and simple as that.